What's up guys? I just finished my uh, tier 7 encounter and I just popped up a new encounter, a rogue combat drone advanced. It's a tier 6. Um, well, it might be a tier 7, I'm not sure, but I'm just going to show you my way of tanking and fighting a tier 6. I call it tier 6 because 750, that's like the tier 6 zone. But since it says tier 7 destroyer, I'm thinking maybe this is a tier 7 one. Anyway, we're going to check it out. And I just warp in on zero. And, uh, yeah, and take it from there. I always switch my thing to ships because a lot of times in these encounters you'll get a lot of asteroids. And I just don't like seeing all the asteroids. But if there are no asteroids, I do like to keep it on all, because then I can see the ships and the loot. I don't know how to set up my overview to show that. Um, yeah, so this is a technically a tier 7, but it's a really easy tier 7. Um, if you see anything in like the 750 zone, just know that that's what I consider like a tier 6, because that's about the fire output that you get. So I always, like I said, I always take out the smaller ships. I always approach the biggest ship at 8 because that's the optimal range. Come on. Put on the NOS and then I select the next ship that I want to target so that when I'm done taking this guy out, the next one will automatically be targeted. Um, yeah, and that's it. Like this one, I just know because I've done it so many times, is really easy. Um, in this build like I could probably get away with one shield booster and two damage controls but this is just the build I take out most of the time so um, yeah like as you can see we're already just tearing through this it's so much faster than tier sevens um, and I think there's three waves on this one but there's only three ships each time so it's not a biggie Um, I'm just looking at my stuff here to see if there's anything I can do to become more efficient. But my drone's on there, my uh, guns are blazing, and my ballistic control's on cooldown, so I'm good. Yeah, it's just kind of a waiting game. But yeah, you see I did like one boost of the um, double shield booster just you know for good good sport keep my shield topped off but yeah I think I would prefer to have another ballistic control unit on there let's go loot this wreck hopefully the Myrmidon is fast enough to stay with us And it's not, but that's okay. Look, we got some tier 7 loot. That's the nice thing about this particular one, is it's it plays like a tier 6, but it's technically uh, tier 7 loot, so that's always nice. What did we get? I think we got the snub nose, and I don't know if I did this right now, the afterburner, or if that was from another one. I wasn't paying attention that like, I read it, but I wasn't, like, paying attention to what I got, because I knew it wasn't going to be anything useful for me. Let's pop our battery, pop our ballistic control. So yeah, like I was saying in the other video, when you pop the capacitor battery, you could actually do both shield boosters, because see how there's a lighter part on the cap? That lighter part, like, you can use all of that up, and it just doesn't matter because it's going to disappear in one second. See how it disappears? So you might as well do whatever you need to do with using cap in that time because it's going to be gone anyway. And I'm not sure if it works this way, but I feel like if you have NOS going like we do, I feel like when the cap batteries 
boosted, I feel like you're gaining a little bit of um, capacitor because you're not using your your true capacitor. You're just using the boosted part, portion. But I could be wrong there. Someone can tell me in the comments. All right, did we get a drop? No, we didn't. All right, so same thing. Oh, look how far away we are. Approach the Myrmidon at 8, put our Nas on there, and then we'll take out the Algos first. Yeah, so I just approached the biggest ship, keep it at 8 range, and that's it. Th like, this is, this is how you do this one. I was hoping this was like a tier six with a lot of ships so I could show you some good good action, but um, this will do. Because there, there is like a drone one, I believe, some kind of drone encounter that's a true tier six, like they're tier six ships, and that one puts out a lot of DPS. You definitely need two shield boosters. And, uh, oh crap. I'm busy talking and not firing. Um, do I even need my shield booster right now? Doesn't look like it. Um, it puts out a lot of DPS, but you just take out the the frigs, the destroyers, then the cruisers, and you don't get anything bigger than a cruiser on a tier six. Um, so. Yeah, you just save the cruisers for last, and by the time you get down to the last two cruisers, they're doing like very minimal damage, and you're able to withstand. Like your shield's gonna be low, but it's gonna be doable. Hopefully, I'll find that one, and then I'll record it so you guys can see like the sketchiest tier six. And then once you can do that one without warping out, you can pretty much do any of them. Let's go ahead and turn on that after uh, shield booster. Oh, drone, everything's good, everything's good. Let's just pop the cap battery, because why not? And we'll put our second shield booster on. All right, good to go. Turn it off. Yeah, so one more wave and we've made 750, what, was it 750 or just 700? 750, plus all the bounties. I'm not sure. I may still have... Look at the bounty reward for our uh, Tier 7. 1.265. So if you watch my other video, you'll know that um, I was saying you don't get very good bounties. Because, look, I was at 455. But 1.265, that's... <laughs> that's what I consider good. In 20 minutes? Heck yeah. Sign me up for those all day long. Yeah, so now now it's just a waiting game. So once I get into my Navy issue, like I'm going to be putting out some massive DPS, I hope. And uh, that's going to that's gonna speed up my time. But I wanted to show you guys how to do it in a regular Caracol with Mark V gear. That way, because I know a lot of you are just going to be starting out. Sorry, I'm looking over at my... <laughs> my recording but I should be looking at the camera I know a lot of you guys are just starting out and it's tough like you're in a caracal trainer you're in a caracal and if you're in a caracal trainer you're probably barely doing tier sixes or you're like kiting them like I did the tier seven or you're just doing tier fives and you're making like 200,000 isk every 20 minutes plus whatever your uh, encounters are worth which is pretty good. Like, you'll get the 15 mil you need to buy a Caracol pretty quickly. Probably before your skills are ready for it, to be honest. But once you get into the Caracol, like, you want to know, okay, how do I do a Tier 6? How do I do a Tier 7? Well, now I showed you. You just kite the Tier 7, and that's, that's it. And you tank the Tier 6s, <laughs> or at least you try to, and then you warp out. So like I showed you in the other one, what you do is you pick like where you want to warp out to because sometimes there's going to be a station in system and a lot of times you'll go to low sec and it's just a gate. So just go to the gate because right now nothing can tank the gate, the sentry fire at the gate. 
So you're not going to risk being destroyed or anything like that. So here I'll show you. Hold on, let me loot this. Snub nose. All right, hold on. Let me let me approach what I need to approach. Oh, the Myrmidon. There we go. 8K. Okay. Okay. Put my uh, Nosferatu on. Target the Incursus. Fire away. 680. So, oh, I thought that was another bounty. Yeah, I've got some stuff on the market selling. Um, what was I saying? Oh, I was going to show you how to align. So, what you do is if you're kiting or if you're like taking a crap ton of damage, uh, I should have killed the Algos first, but I mean, it really doesn't matter on these guys. So, we'll just kill this Celestius. Celestius. Celestialist. Celestis. Um, you, you pick your station or your gate, okay? And you just click on it and you hit approach. So like if right now I started taking massive shield damage and I didn't think I was going to be able to tank it, I'd hit approach. And then I would start aligning toward the gate or toward the station. And then once I thought I couldn't take any more shield damage without it going into armor, I would hit, I would click again and I would hit warp. And then you'll warp immediately. You won't have to align. And that's that's what you got to do. And it's pretty simple. Pretty simple. Because none of these, nothing that I've encountered so far has warp scramblers. Maybe in the storyline missions. Um, but, you know, I just did a 5 mil isk uh, tier 7 encounter and nothing warp scram me. And I've done a 3 mil, nothing warp scram me. I think you can get a 7.5 mil and those might have it, but um, check with your court mates or, you know, on YouTube. Maybe I'll post one when I get one of those. All right, let's uh, pump out my damage now. Let's orbit this guy. It's usually better to orbit, but what I find is if you orbit something, a lot of times you'll go out of range. You'll be at like 12 or 13 or 16. And so, like, see, I'm going out of range, even though I'm orbiting at 8. Well, now I'm back. So what you do is you approach at 8. And then that'll always try to keep you, like, at range of 8. But you're not going to be having the traversal around it so they're gonna be able to hit you easier and uh, but right now look at our damage like we're tanking this fine uh, hold on let's let's take a look here my nanobot accelerator sold all right let's look at the wallet I'm at 21 million isk which is really low I know but hey it is what it is Oh, I guess I should have showed you guys my fitting. I just got rapid, um, what are these called? Rapid, medium, medium rapid missile launcher. Those are all just meta five. Meta five, medium energy. And I got this by just doing missions, the five missions. I do have a Republic Fleet medium booster. This is like 10 mil, I think, 13 mil. You don't need it. Like, it's it's nice to have I guess it's fancy but you don't need it but if you're gonna if you have the isk if you have the isk I would say put on put on the uh, 17 or 12.5 million um, rig that gives you damage output like that's a better use of the money because you'll get 12.5 percent damage and if your skills are kind of crap then that's gonna help more than the shield booster I think Alright, so I did that. I got 735 million isk. Let me go through my fitting one more time. I, I do have a medium uh, 5 Valkyrie. I do Valkyrie because the Valkyrie and the Warrior drone, they're the fastest drones. That's the only reason I do it. It's probably not optimized for damage. Look, it's all, what is that, um, explosive damage. But the flight velocity is 3,000 meters per second. 
And I just did that because I know I'm going to be going up up against elite frigs. And I didn't know, like, am I going to need this or am I not going to need it? So I just did the fastest one. So if you were going to do the uh, Mark III, it would be the Valkyrie for the medium or the Mark III Warrior if you want to do it how I do it. If you want to go for straight damage, I would probably go with the Hobgoblin, which is thermal, or the, what's the, Hammerhead. Okay. And then on the low slot, Mark V medium capacitor battery. This guy was pretty expensive when I bought it. Yeah, 2.3 mil, but that is definitely worth it. Um, I also have a capacitor rig on here, um, which gives you 17.5 capacitor. That's also pretty expensive. Um, so if you're just fitting out your ship, I would probably do this before the damage ones like use your um if you're omega use your rigs that you get from from the daily login it's going to be a little bit less efficient like instead of 7.5 it might be 3.5 or something like that um but it works so what i have here is the bay loading accelerator 7.5 percent and then i would get the um I think it's called like a catalyst or something i had it on here before but then someone told me to put a range but if you're not kiting you don't need this particular rig because this gives you flight velocity to your missiles which just means that they will travel farther and faster well they'll travel faster but they'll also go farther because they're traveling faster get what i'm saying um ballistic control unit mark V and then a Mark V shield booster. So that's it. Sorry I didn't do that at the beginning, or if I did and I forgot, I'm also apologizing. Anyway, I'm just I'm just sorry, guys. <laughs> this has been fun. Um, leave a thumbs up and leave some comments and tell me what you guys want to see, all right? If you need a Kirkle Trainer video, I'm probably not your guy because I'm gonna be heading on to bigger and better ships. I just wanted to show you guys um, how to do it in a caracal because that's I don't think it takes a whole lot to get into a caracal anyway I'm out